Yeah, you know, a lot of people we talk to say this is not quite the sports story that they thought they would be talking about when discussing a member of the Detroit Lions, but many people say they already knew what we were talking about because this tweet went absolutely viral. We're talking about a precious shipment for a newborn, and uh, it's a situation that everyone is talking about. Lion star tackle Taylor Decker putting FedEx on blast for allegedly losing his wife's breast milk. And now it's the talk of the town. I'm a mom. I've had uh, breast milk go missing before, and it's not something that's uh, easy to replace. Yeah. yeah, to replace or even to get through emotionally. It's uh, postpartum really gets you. So Decker went on Twitter and wrote shout out at FedEx for losing a perishable 24 hour shipment of a month's supply of milk for my newborn and responding that there is nothing they can do and will not reimburse me. What a joke. Decker and his wife just welcomed their baby daughter Daisy Faye in October. He said it's not so easy as simply running to the store to replace it. The couple froze his wife's milk and shipped it out west for the off season. Mother's breast milk is so much more important to a child than just a quick fix like formula because, you know, you get the nutrients straight from the mom and they, the baby's saliva actually goes back into the mom's breast milk to let it know the nutrients that it needs. So, yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty crazy for them to lose something of that to that magnitude. It's uh, definitely a heartbreak for the for the mom, for sure. The tweet, seen several million times already, generated numerous responses in an apparent tit for tat. When one follower said they could just go to any grocery store and buy formula in bulk, Decker replied, well, grocery stores don't happen to carry my wife's breast milk. To some, the whole thing seems serial. I mean, surreal. I, I saw that on Twitter and um, I was like, wow, um, I'm not sure what this has come to, that this is blowing up. Like, this is really what this is coming to. Now we have, now we're talking about Taylor Decker's not his breast milk, but his the purchase of his breast milk. Not well, his not, wife's. Yeah, his wife. <laughs> Excuse me. Not in my main interest. I'd rather focus on the football, but that's neither here nor there. FedEx helped tweeted back. An apparent staffer said, hi, this is Alejo. My sincerest apologies for any inconvenience you may have experienced as a result of this situation. Please DM your name, address, tracking number, phone number, and email. Thank you. Alejo's colleagues, Carlos and Oscar, also pledged their support to the Deckers. Hopefully FedEx does the right thing and at least reimburses them for the troubles. Fans we talked with say they applaud Decker for using his platform to create change. If he has that platform that he's built as being an unbelievably good offensive lineman, he can go ahead and say, listen, this brand has done me wrong. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that they do me right in the future. So I stand behind, behind Taylor Decker's decision to say, um, to talk about how they didn't give him the correct breast milk. Okay, because if I was in that exact situation, I would want my breast milk delivered promptly and efficiently. Yeah, no doubt about that. Well, FedEx did get back with us tonight, and they say that they understand that this shipment is incredibly important to Mr. Decker. They say they apologize. They are in direct contact with him, and they're working to get this resolved. We're live in downtown Detroit. Dave Kinchin, Fox 2 News. You wonder what the next chapter is going to be. I know some of the tweets on that string are saying things like UPS runs circles around you uh, and joking about this. But the serious nature of this is that Taylor Decker is saying, hey, now I get a response because it's on social media. He's still hoping for something from these guys soon. Yeah, that's right. He's still hoping. We actually reached out to him as well. We haven't heard back from Mr. Decker. We hope uh, to hear more about uh, how he's feeling about this and how his family's dealing with this. But uh, no question, uh, because it's especially on social media, a lot of eyes are on it. And of course, we're watching this as well. 114,000 followers strong on his Twitter side. I'm sure we're going to be hearing more about this soon. Dave Kinchin for us live. Thank Absolutely. you.